Hey guys, Kid Gear here for the Tech World. This is my third attempt at recording this video because it keeps running over the limit. So I gotta go right away, right fast here. Simply, this video is a Windows 7 speed up guide. Uh, and I'll leave a link to it in a blog post where I'll have a more in depth stuff and some other guides out there that I've recommended. Oh, I recommend as well. So check that link out. Uh, check the website out, adrianstech.com, and email me, adrianstech at gmail.com, with any questions. With that, let's jump right into the video. So, speeding up Windows 7 or any operating system in general, you really want to get that startup time and shutdown time good because obviously before you even get to the operating system, you have to deal with the startup and the shutdown at the end when you're, you know, turning off your computer. So, some tips, uh, if you go into start and run an MS config, that's M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G, standing for Microsoft Configuration Utility, let that open. And here it is, it's opened. Now, first tab you want to go to is boot. Change that timeout time from 30 seconds to 3 seconds. That's just the timeout and how long it waits when shutting down. Or uh, starting up, I should say. Both, just boot in general. Now, if you go to advanced options, if you have multiple processors, sometimes the boot advanced option doesn't realize it. And you actually have to set the number of processors you have. With. If you have four, then I'll show four. And you can uh, set the amount you want to utilize uh, when booting. Now, in the startup tab, shows all the applications that you uh, have when startup. So example, iTunes, QuickTime, Skype, those are applications you really don't need running right when you start your computer unless you really, really use them frequently. You can just run them whenever you need to rather than having them start up and slowing down your you know, boot, time, boot time. So just uncheck the ones you don't use and then uh, hit apply. And also don't forget to check out your services. I'll leave a link to uh, services that you can disable safely within Windows 7 and a description of what they are, etc. Um, but just for example, you can disable stuff like fax and tablet PC if you don't have a tablet PC. So yeah, just dis uh, disable the ones and hit apply and hit OK and then it's going to ask you to restart your computer so you're going to do that as well. And also one thing to note, you can hide all Microsoft services so you can just see the uh, third party services that you have installed from other programs that you may want to disable. Alright, moving on. A quick registry edit that I want to talk about that really helps within uh, speeding up your shutdown time. If you type in reg edit, that stands for registry editor. Uh, it's it's um, dealing with killing processes as soon as your computer shuts down. And I'm just going to let this open real quick. Now, I'm already here navigated to it, but I'm going to close this all down so I can really quick show you where to navigate and how to do it. So, you're going to get all these folders. You want to go to H key, local machine. I'll leave this in the video description. Don't worry. Go to system. Go to current control set. And then go, just click control. Don't expand the folder. And you're going to see this the one at the bottom that says wait to kill service timeout. It's going to set at 1200, which the value of 1200 in data is 12 seconds. Uh, basically, when your computer shuts down, it waits 12 seconds to kill, automatically kill a process. You can set it to something like 3 seconds. That way, as soon as you hit shutdown, it's just going to automatically kill the process. And then it's going to time out your computer. And it's going to you know pretty much shut down way faster. And rather than having a 12 second or 30 second shutdown, you may have like a 10 second shutdown. Or even a 3 second shutdown. It's pretty much instant if you mess around with this. So just mess around with that, and as soon as you change the value, hit exit, and then you want to restart your computer right away after. All right, moving on. Uh, general tweaks and eye candy adjusting for best performance. Now, if you go to Start Menu and right-click My Computer and go to Properties, I'm gonna let that load. And then from here, you're gonna want to go to Advanced System Settings and just click it right there. And after this, sorry, it's loading real quick. This window will pop up and it'll be on computer name. Click the advanced tab under performance, click the settings button, and it's going to be adjusted for best performance appearance. If you really want to get the best performance, you can click that, but it will disable all the cool effects and might set you to Windows 7 classic theme, but you can change that to your liking. Or you can just use a custom like what I did, and I just picked a handful of stuff that effects I really like and disabled all the other stuff that really slows down Windows. So mess around with that and uh, it really, you know, slow, uh, slims down in the eye candy and makes Windows run much more smoother. As you see there, I accidentally hit OK, which I wasn't supposed to, but now my theme's all different. But I will adjust that later on, because I have a custom theme. Alright, moving on. Um, Ready Boost, or uh, that, if you haven't showed you what that is, if you go to a computer and you have a spare hard drive that you have plugged in or anything like that, uh, not hard drive, sorry, pen drive, you can utilize the extra space for uh, spare RAM. Now, if I right-click and go to Properties, this is my other my uh, two gigabyte pen drive here, and go to the Ready Boost tab. I can say dedicate this device to Ready Boost. That way, I'll, I'll use the whole drive and pretty much I, I, I believe they'll delete the data. But if you can just use a certain amount that's already uh, 
you know, re, uh, reserved for the system. So, like, any, let's say you have a 2 gig of pen drive, you have 1 gigabyte of data on there. The other 1 gig can be utilized for uh, some memory within Windows. So, you can adjust that for Ready Boost if you'd like. And that does a r huge amount of uh, speeding up and stuff like Photoshop and stuff like that. Now, disabling unneeded Windows 7 features. If you go to Control Panel and wait for that to open, go to Programs, Uninstall a Program, uh, not Uninstall Program, turn Windows features on or off. This little dialog box is going to pop up. I'm going to wait for that to load. It's going to load all these uh, features that you uh, may or may not need. I disabled the games. I disabled Internet Explorer 8 and Internet Explorer, uh, you know, other services within there. So you can turn off a lot of cool, f uh, not un not cool, but unneeded features within this little dialog box and hit OK. And it really does, again, a lot of, uh, you know, speed up overall for the operating system. And it just lets you disable stuff you really don't need, so it clears up some hard drive space. Alright, um, moving on to the system maintenance. Now, disk cleanup. You can access this uh, if you go into your start menu, go to all programs, accessories, system tools, and basically disk cleanup cleans up your hard drive. I mean, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. It does some wiping of uh, old files and stuff like that. Disk defragmenter is another thing you want to run probably monthly. Disk cleanup as well, monthly. Disk defragger, defragmenter. Uh, uh, as it says, it defragments your files, pushes those files in your hard drive closer so there's no empty sectors, and it reads uh, data much faster, and there's no gaps within the data. All right. Um, also, check out application like CCleaner. That does a really good job of uh, cleaning out crap on your uh, computer and stuff like that. So check that out, CCleaner. Um, and to another tip, if you have a lot of fonts on your computer, if you just go into a uh, control panel, and hang on, let's let this load real quick and go to appearance and personalization you can view and delete fonts here if you delete a lot of unnecessary needed fonts it, windows doesn't need to load the fonts options like within uh, programs so it can load a lot faster so if you delete like 20 fonts that's 20 less fonts windows has windows has to load when loading certain applications that use that font or whatever if you delete it it won't be needed to load and it makes it run a lot more smoother lastly do me a favor, guys, and virus scan daily, monthly, whatever you need to do. Monthly full scan, I would recommend. Uh, every now and then, do a quick scan. And if you have a, you know, if you downloaded a suspicious file from somebody, you may want to custom scan that and uh, make sure it's safe. Because a virus can not only bog down your system, but it can, you know, get important data. It can do a lot of crazy stuff. So just do me a favor and do virus scan daily. And also do Windows updates daily to keep you up to date on the top, you know, patches. And just keep your Windows 7 running smooth and quick. Hope these tips helped you out, guys. This has been Kid Gear for the Tech World. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.